Good morning, YouTube family. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, unfortunately, it is my last day here in Accra, Ghana. But remember, I said that last time, and then literally a few weeks later, I was back with my family in Ghana. But I have to go back, I need to get into the lab, gotta get back into the workflow. But that is not gonna stop us from vlogging and filming and showcasing Ghana on our last day here. I have so many other videos if I haven't already posted them and just so much more to share with everyone. So I wanna thank you all so much for the support. As you can see, sun is shining, it's gonna be a good day. So if you're not already a part of the family, just click the subscribe button, join us. Let's keep on growing together, getting better together and improving little by little each and every single day while spreading Ghana, while spreading Africa to the world. Let's get into this video. Let's carry on showcasing Ghana and let's carry on changing the narrative. I've never had anyone complete the words I say You told me the one you're with can make you feel this way Our first stop of the morning is at the beautiful Moven Pick Hotel because they have a pharmacy in the inside and I need to grab some products and all that before I get back to Belgium. But you can see, as I said, it is an absolutely stunning day. They have really, really great security to get in, check temperature and everything like that. You can see the whole layout in the middle here. If you haven't seen from my other videos, right in the middle of the CBD in the business district. And then we literally just go through these doors here and there's a pharmacy and a whole lot of different shops that we can go in and collect what we need. If anyone was wondering what the pharmacy is called, it is called Ad Pharma Limited. And you can see their working hours are open every single day of the week. All the information you need if you want to go and get it. It is a very, very popular pharmacy though. So we ended up waiting about half an hour in line, but we managed to get it. And now I can throw it together with everything else in my bag. Before I get on and do much more for the day, I have to pack my bag because if anyone's watched my channel for a long time, they know that I'm the ultimate procrastinator when I'm <laughs> leaving Ghana and I'll probably end up rushing everything in the last minute to pack my bag because I just don't want to go and end up forgetting half the stuff. So now that I've got the bag, it's time to pack it. But the thing is now, obviously, I flew in in first class and because of border control and Europe and everything changing so drastically and flight routes being changed, I had to end my holiday short and I'm flying out now through Brussels Air, but I've got to fly premium economy. So therefore I have less stuff that I can take with, lighter bags. So right now, I'm gonna pack it all up together and then enjoy the rest of the afternoon. The packing is pretty much all done. I seem to have more stuff than I left with, but obviously it was Christmas time over the period I was here. So I did get a couple of shirts and that, but I got my drone. Pretty much all my camera accessories here and then i just need to throw my laptop and a couple other things in there another laptop on charge but i don't think i've ever shown anyone in this room besides my house tour video so i thought let me give you a quick little room tour before i leave so obviously i have my dressing table in the front with a mirror that overlooks my bed nice little carpet and then a pretty nice size bed that is here i uh, got the air con that's pretty much runs throughout the whole day and then six double cupboards which are really nice and deep and then as you can see all the lighting is above it and in no place in this house is there any direct lighting it's all like this really cool symmetrical designs and everything another one this corner and then i have massive curtains over here 
Also, yeah, I kept it closed now because the sun is beaming through. So also floor to ceiling windows, which is amazing. I've got my own personal private balcony outside here, which I also absolutely love. And then the bathroom. The bathroom is something I just really love. So we've got this locally woven made basket over here for the clothes. I have a really amazing bath. It has this beautiful slope in it that I love. Granite everywhere. And then a massive, almost could be a double sink, but a single sink with floor, granite, granite on the walls and everything I got. So that's just my little quick little room tour. Everything's made. And now let's go on to the bed. place we're coming to to get some late lunch early dinner is capital cafe and restaurant we'll just slide past all these cars it's really really popular so the cars board up quite a lot there's usually a little side entrance you can exit through otherwise you just walk on the side way here around the corner into this little center and then what we saw yesterday they actually have a really awesome old school car parked outside in front of it So there's all the restaurants down there and then the old school car looking out onto Capitol. So Capitol will be the inside area. You can also sit outside, enjoy the good weather, but I think with the temperature, we'll probably head inside and enjoy some food. Look at the Capitol restaurant's menu. I haven't been here in quite a while and quite impressed with the different varieties they have also with really, really competitive prices. So they have all the breakfast corners, the appetites and wraps on the next page they have a whole lot of different options with salads also love the fact that they have the pictures so you can compare so we have the pizzas we have burgers aside pasta and macaroni all on this page and it just still goes on we have main courses which are grilled then we have some more main courses this side and then even more on the next page we also have a whole lot of chicken foods all of the options if you prefer chicken over steak and lamb and then also seafood lovely salmon steak at the end there they have a kids menu a dessert section whole lot of cold drinks you can see a whole lot of milkshakes i'm definitely going to be trying the chocolate milkshake because that looks delicious then some more cold drinks some mocktails some smoothies that side some lemonade and even some hot hot drinks and coffees turned off right now they have a game busy being shown on the tv a massive area and then some ice cream even you can grab down at the bottom with so a whole lot of streamers and a really really nice setting we have just finished up now at capital i try to go outside because i have a really nice area where you can sit by the pool and all that was actually for the residents that stay but the door was closed i didn't want to walk through but had a really really amazing vegetable wrap with tomato chips and it was just lovely my dad had a breakfast meal that they were still able to make for him at this time of day which is also really really nice my brother had a chicken caesar salad and then my mom had the enchiladas with cheese on the inside but it was really really lovely but right now we've got about an hour and 40 minutes before we have to head to the airport so we're gonna go home probably get my last swim in last little quick suntan before i have to go into the cold into the rain so onto the car and then quickly go home gone a holiday then running down to the pool before having to get changed to catch a flight and throwing on the old faithful pinky purple leopard print <laughs> swim shorts that many people who have watched my vlogs for a long time would have seen them because i've lived in these pants for ages or like all my other videos the last day i always seem to throw them on but with that being said the rest of the family is waiting for me downstairs let's run to the pool jump and soak up the last little bit of this african sun this Ghana spirit before i have to head back to europe it's super sad that this was my last time at the pool for this holiday but as i said i'm always going to be back regularly i will be back soon probably the development is going to grow even more by the time i get back and everything's going to look completely different but right now we're going to head back have a shower get changed and then I'm going to do a whole separate vlog of leaving Ghana because I'm actually stopping off over in Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast before heading back to Belgium. So that's going to be a whole other video that I'm going to do. So I want to thank you all so much for the support if you're still watching. Thank you so much for all the positive energy, all the beautiful comments, the 
family that we just keep on growing for the life. So I really appreciate all of you. Hit that subscribe button so we can grow together, get better together, and improve all below each and every single day. Or spreading Ghana, or spreading Africa through the world. And let's head to the airport.